world building is something that most anime tends to ignore. Well, most trash anime, that is. Maybe because most fantasy anime does happen in very generic places. Like the wall city, put a little magic academy in there, and BAM! You have an Isika. But when world building is done right, everything just comes to place. From Overlord's array of races that has its own characteristics and distinct culture, Hunter x Hunter's power system that has been copied multiple times but still is so unique in its own way, to One Piece interconnecting storyline that's expressed in each island the straw stepped on, how the world itself feels like a character that has its own personality and way of living. Ushoku Tensei has one of this world. It's vast and fully fleshed out. Honestly, most of the story is just Rudeus exploring the world. But information from this world is scattered. Information from one place is slipped into conversation and small talk. You know, like an actual conversation. There is no one big exposition dump. So I group each piece of information from these scattered conversations. When Rudeus was two, he founded a book called Wandering the World. It's a reference guide to various countries of the world and their unique characteristics. So basically, I'm gonna try to recreate that into a video. This will be a spoiler-free video and this information is from a light novel, manga, and the anime. But I'm only going to explain starting from the birthplace of Rudeus to episode 0 of season 2. So the story takes place in the central continent, more specifically in the Asura Kingdom. But actually in the Fetora region of the Asura Kingdom, but it focuses on the Vena village, which is located within the Fetoa region. Therefore, Vena village is situated in the Fetoa region, which is actually a part of Asura Kingdom, all of this location are happening in the central continent, are you still there? If you got that, hit that subscribe button. Located in the northern east part of Asura Kingdom, the Fetoa region is where most part 1 of the anime takes place, specifically in Buena village. This is where Rudy is born, taught by Roxy and Mitsufiet. Buena village is a small hamlet situated on the far edge of the Fetawa region. It is considered a peaceful village, known for its cultivation of Asuran wheat and vitarus, which is used in perfume making. Over 30 households works the farmland, and the grey rats resides here. Paul, a low-ranking knight, is responsible for the village security. His duties include watching over the townsfolk, ensuring they carry out their work properly, adjudicating a dispute, and protecting the village from monster attacks. When a village is in the Fetoa region, a vast agricultural area on the border of the kingdom, the biggest city in Fetoa is about a day coach ride apart from Wena village. It's called Roa City, sometimes called the Citadel of Roa, a lively city surrounded by sturdy walls, 78 meters tall, or stable inn and a crowd of people including merchants, townspeople, and warriors are the first thing you see upon arrival. Known as a bastion city with a noble pass and was the last bastion of defense in the war against the demon race. The deeper you go into Roa, the bigger the houses and more luxurious goods. And in the middle of it all, the leech lord's manor. But Rudy said it's more like a castle than a manor. This is where Rudy got his first job as the tutor of the granddaughter of the Leech Lord and the daughter of the mayor of the citadel, Aris Boris Rerat. But before Rudy got the job, he and Aris got kidnapped and brought two cities away from Roa, in a town called Weiden. They got back to Roa, then a time skip to the 10-year-old birthday of Aris. During this time, Roxy is in the Shiroi Kingdom teaching that Purvy Prince. Then everything changed. The day after the 10th birthday of Rudy, the manic calamity happened. Numerous teleportation incidents has already occurred, but in a smaller scale. And as we found out, everyone is on the move. Rudy and Ares has been sent to the demon continent and found Rudyard. Sophie became the companion of the princess. Paul and Nor is in the holy country of Milis. This is traveling the world. Roxy heads to the demon continent in search of Rudy and joins up with Elinais and Talan. Aisha and Lilia is in the kingdom of Shirane. This puts everything in motion. And that puts us in the demon continent. By the way, the word ma can both mean demon and magic. That is why you can see different translations from here and there. Just try to think of the demon continent. A poor place with strong master. There are demon lords ruling over various places and demon rays make up the large portion of the population. 
They are called demons because of the human demon war that happened 7,000 years ago. Geese, Roxy, and Richard are demons, and as said by Geese, Outside of the towns, that place is barren, boiling during the day, freezing at night. There's no water, there's no rain, and you have to hunt and kill monsters to use them for firewood. Monsters which, I might add, are way stronger than anything you ever see here. That's the kind of place where Rudeus and Eris is sent, and their first stop is Meager Village in the Bigoya region. Roxy's hometown, the Meager tribe, lives here, and we found out that they can use telepathy, well, except from Roxy. And it's here that we also found out that the superstition exists that the hair color of a demonic race gets closer to green, the more savage they are. Then, fast forward a little bit, we got to the city of Rikarisu, one of the three largest settlements on the demon continent located in the Begoya region. Rikarisu sits in the middle of an enormous crater, the rim of which form a single continuous wall surrounding the city, currently serves to protect the city against marauding monsters. At the time of the Great Human Demon War, it serves as a home base for the forces of the Demon Empress, Kishirika Kishirisu. Even now, it is sometimes referred to as Old Kishirisu Castle. This is where the Dead End Party is formed. A day's journey away from Kishirisu, our next stop is the Pretified Forest. It was a place where bone like trees with jagged branches grew in enormous numbers. Cutting through the forest offers a shortcut to reach another nearby city. But due to the presence of multiple rank B monsters, it's too dangerous. As they go on their travels, the Dead End Party arrive at the Wind Port, the only port in the Demon Continent, and is the connecting travel hub via sea to and from Santo Port in the Milis Continent. It's a town with a lot of hills and slope. You can see the entire city from the entrance. At this time, Roxy's party is also in the city, but never actually met Rudy. This is also the place where Rudy accepts an eye of foresight from the Demon Empress Kishirisu. Our next stop is the Great Forest and it is home to various races. The beast race resided in the northern part of the forest, hobbits in the northwest, the dwarves in the southwest, and the elves in the southeast. The forest has three months of constant rain every year, which is also the time that the Dead End Party have arrived. They stayed at the Dolja village, which is also where the slain came from. Oh, by the way, Sufit's dad is half elf and her mom is half human with a bit of Bisman blood. So I just assume that her parents is from the Great Forest. It's also a huge woodland that occupied the northeastern half of the continent and the other half is the holy country of Miles, the second oldest and most powerful kingdom after the Asuran Kingdom. It is the holy land of the world's largest faith, Milishion. It is a human city and capital of the holy country of Miles, which is also said to be the most beautiful city in the world for its majesty and harmony. Splitting those two regions is the Blue Dragon Mountain Range. With the Holy Sword Highway going straight through them from top to bottom with not a single monster on the highway, population is roughly 50-50 of human race and beast race. The Milition is where Rudy reunites with Paul and also, Senet Grerat is born in the holy country of Milis. She was the second daughter of a count. This is also the place where they found out that the whole region of Itoa is now gone. They decided to go anyway, so they part ways with Paul. Oh, and also Gis is going to the Bigarit continent. And at last, we are back at the central continent. Their first stop is the capital of Shirani Kingdom, an ally of the Dragon King Kingdom the border area of the strife zone where Rudy met her other sister and found out Lilia is in prison because uh because I'm not gonna explain the storyline so let's move on so Rudy got the holy relic from Lilia as they part ways Pax and Sonaba is going to study abroad and the dead end party is continuing their journey and then another calamity struck Rudy he's almost killed by the dragon god Orsted at the red dragon mountain and if you have watched this scene, that episode, you know there is something more to the story and to the world. I don't want to go into it because that fight deserves so much analysis. So let's continue. So the Red Dragon Mountain Range acts like a border that surrounds the Asuran Kingdom. That's why I never experienced war before. Because it's too hard to get through these mountains. Because the only valleys of the Red Dragon Mountains 
that can be passed through is the Red Dragon Mountain lower jaw and upper jaw. And then they arrive at Fitoa, in Vena village where it all started. Nothing but ruins, his old home, the memories flash back as he walked, realizing that nothing will ever go back to the way it was. As Rudy and Ares continue to the Roa city, the same scene greets them, a city in ruins and despair. However, they found Gislaine and Alpons, and found that Hilda and Philip is also dead. Of course, we saw how Cyrus died in the capital of Asura Kingdom. After the night of very questionable events, Ares decided to leave Rudius and go with Gislaine to... Okay, it just occurred to me that that is a spoiler, so let's move on to the episode 0 of season 2. So I can actually talk about the country that holds the greatest nation power in the world. It's abundant with natural resources and a land of fertility with no starvation. The soil hasn't become barren. The Asuran Kingdom and the capital, Arusu, is where the episode 0 took place. To explain the state of the Asura Kingdom, the situation of Paul is an example. Paul is actually disowned by his father but it looks like he decided to run away because he is disgusted by the corrupt nobility. Just a reminder that Paul is nobility. Oh, one last thing. Have you noticed why all the nobilities is just so horny? Well, it's actually kinda in their culture and become a sign of nobility. That can explain why. Just gonna let that sink in. Anyway, thank you if you got it this far. If you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Peace out.